For a player, the Clásico is the match you dream of as a kid. It's a match that has much bigger repercussions than any other game. And even more so this time. The build-up to the game and the post-match make it something special. A lot of circumstances come into play in this clash. And it means that there's a lot of expectations surrounding it. But when you start playing, you don't think about the people that are watching, what could happen, or what people might talk about. If you start to think about everything it generates and surrounds it, then it's very difficult to focus on the game. Centrarte directamente en el partido. Creo que los los dos partidos más. The two games I enjoyed the most. Que disfrutado. Were the five nil win in 2010 at the Camp Nou. En 2010 acá en el Camp Nou y y el. And our last four nil victory at the Bernabéu. En el Bernabéu. Not because of the result, but because of our performance. We were brilliant in both games, and that's what you take away in the end. From a tactical point of view, the manager prepares this game like all the rest. We'll probably talk about some certain things they can do with their tremendous quality. But from a mental standpoint, you start playing this game a little bit earlier than the rest, like in a Champions League final. In this sense, you start preparing earlier than normal. We prepare for it like any other game, but we keep in mind the quality of Real Madrid and the threat they pose, as they've got a lot of quality all over the pitch. Madrid have shown that their substitutes work very well this season. I don't know how many games they've been able to call upon their so-called superstars, but the players that have come in have done a great job. Without Bale, they're missing a very important player, but they still have a lot of top quality players you have to keep a close eye on. Real Madrid is one of the biggest clubs in the world, with a lot of history, and that means they're always obliged to fight to the death, the same as Barcelona. Que siempre tenga que que luchar hasta el final, como como también le pasa al Barcelona. Son instituciones. These are clubs whose shirts make you fight until the very end. And if you add to that the quality of the players, then it means you've got a rival who you can never say you've won until it's all over. Hace que que obviamente es un rival que nunca puedes darlo por muerto. Lo mismo que ven ustedes lo vemos nosotros. The same as you see with us. In La Liga, we haven't been as consistent as usual, and even so, we're just six points behind Madrid. Y así todo estamos a a seis puntos del Madrid, que es una diferencia que obviamente. We wish we were closer, but it's not an unreachable difference. It's up to us. Depende de nosotros. This weekend, we've got a match where we can close that gap. There are things we have to improve, because if you're not consistent, it's hard to have a chance to win La Liga. Because here, the winner is always the most consistent team.
El partido del sábado es un buen momento para... Saturday's game is a great para, chance bueno, for us to put things right and then to use it as a turning point y, and y go on until eso, the end of the season. Un, un partido bisagra, un envión para nosotros y, y no parar más. When you start watching football in the big teams, you might see a goal scorer or a player with quality, a midfielder who creates and scores goals. But you don't ever see a total, complete player, and that's Leo. He's a creative player and midfielder, but he's also a goal scorer. Finding three kinds of player in one is what makes him different. The capacity of a player who understands football better than anyone is what means he can keep adapting again and again to new circumstances. It's his capacity to see what's going on on the pitch to reinvent himself. And he hasn't lost that goal-scoring instinct. He can get three or four chances to score in a match and he'll put most of them away. Tres o cuatro situaciones de gol en, en un partido y seguramente eh, tiene una alta efectividad para convertir. Creo que también... As he's got older, he's become more mature and he's become a better player. He's got something different. Son... They're three of the best players in the world. We've got the best, in my opinion. And players like that raise the level of the team. They can create opportunities and score goals by themselves. Situaciones y crearse goles por sí mismo. Without them, Everything we've achieved in these last couple of years would have been impossible. At the end of the day, in football, apart from the philosophy and the way you play, you need individual quality. Players like the ones we've got in midfield and up front, especially those three in attack, are what make us play at such a high level. It's a great changing room, probably the best I've shared in my career, and that makes everything easier.